So what I've done is I've modified this resolver and I've fitted diodes in between the primary and the secondary stage of it. So it's now got a rectifier installed. And don't worry, this is reversible, okay? So now this gets DC on it when there's AC induced into here. So let's stick it into there. It can spin freely. Let's have a look at what's happening on the scope. So there on the scope, when I spin it, you can clearly see the two output phases, 90 degrees apart. So we have converted this resolver into an alternator, like that. All right. It is now generating AC on the output. We've got. There is an AC component on the secondary of the rotor, so that's why it's still behaving like a transformer. However, the principle of it working as an alternator is still demonstrated. So there's the diodes. Now some alternators use a primary that looks like this, and then they have a outside field which looks a lot like a DC motor field and what happens there is they excite it with DC on this section over here not AC okay so you've got DC stationary magnetic field rotating rotor with poles okay that look like this that gets rectified goes into here and this becomes a permanent magnet well, it's an electromagnet, but it's permanent. It's a stationary magnetic field on this rotor. This then rotates inside here, and you have your alternator. Right, we're out of time. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying this video. And take care. We'll see you next time for more stuff. Alrighty, bye.